All righty, folks. I'll let you get in here in a minute. Um, I don't have my tripod right now, so you'll have to excuse the kind of shakiness. Um, don't even know where my tripod is, actually. But uh, I am here getting ready to go on a trip with my wife. We're going camping in the Mini. Um, and uh, I thought I might give you guys a little rundown of the tools that I use when I, uh, when I go on a long trip. Um, I probably look really hot right now, like temperature wise, and it is because it is very hot in Charlotte right now. Um, but let's take a look at the tools and uh, I can kind of go over things. Hey Paul, welcome to the stream. So um, I wanted to just kind of go over the things that I use when I go on a trip. Um, specifically when I am going on a trip where I might have my truck with me, um, where I might have a little bit more room, uh, to carry things, you know, to bring it someplace. Um, so as you can see, got my mini on my brand new trailer. We, uh, a couple friends and I all bought this together. Really excited about this. Obviously it's like perfectly mini sized. It's aluminum, super light. Um, and, uh, and it's really, uh, it's, it's awesome. I can't even tell there's a trailer behind it. So um, just a quick prep spot. So towing with my truck, obviously I've got some space in the back and what I'll do is I've got these two totes in the back. Um, one that is for like uh, kind of odds and ends, really big tools, my jack, things like that. And the other is for like my actual supplies I'm bringing. Mini sits on the trailer in the back. We've got a roof rack uh, with a roof basket and a bag. I'm not totally certain on whether or not we're gonna use that for this trip. Um, it depends on if we have enough stuff. I think it might all fit in the back seat though. And if that's the case, we'll pop the roof rack off and save some weight. Um, so coming back to the back here, uh, I finally got this, uh, this handle. It locks now, super excited about that. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about the tools. So I've got all the tools laid out here that I would normally bring on a trip. Um, and I think most of them are probably self-explanatory as we look at them here, but um, I have a bag that sits in the back of the mini. I keep my, uh, my I forget, I always forget these sizes. This is three eighths, half, I don't remember. I have a small wrench, a medium wrench, and a big wrench, and I have the sets for all three of these. Um, these ones are metric. I really only use these big ones for my wheels. So in reality, I only really need to carry the 17. Um, but we have a, a small screwdriver, a long flathead screwdriver. This is to, uh, oh fine, I'll say ratchet. It's a ratchet, you guys, socket wrench. What do you guys call them? No, these are spanners, right? Yeah. Um, this is to get to the lower radiator hose. I just keep it in case I have to. Um, pair of side cutters, flashlight. There we go, Paul. Quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. Hey, Will. Um, a couple of other flathead screwdrivers here. A little bundle of extra wire. This is just in case something shorts. I have a little bit of extra wire with my strippers and my crimpers. I also carry a few of these with me. Um, just in case something breaks and uh, I need to rewire it. Simple knife, small test light, vice grips, scissors, needle nose pliers, two adjustable wrenches, one small, one large, depending on what I need. This oversized Phillips head screwdriver so that I can get the uh, fog lights off on the front. And then that is, that's pretty much the kit. Um, you can solve pretty much, I'd say, 75 to 80 percent of the problems you might have on your mini with this kit right here which is pretty cool um and uh oh yeah and i got a little tire pressure gauge just in case too actually let's switch that out ignore that we're gonna use that tire pressure gauge because i don't i don't like that one but anyway for you guys when you go on a long trip what kind of stuff do you carry along with you Oh, Lordy, it is hot out here. I'm going to have to sit. Uh, Lababi, I, I guess is how you say that. Camping, pay a fortune to live like a homeless person. Greetings from Sweden. Um, I, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't pay a lot to go camping. Um, you know, campsite. We're going to do car camping this time. Um, we normally do backpacking. You know, we hike in to uh, like primitive camping places. But for this one, I mean, it's like... 
25 to 30 US dollars a night. It's not too bad. William Murphy says, spare fuel can. Well, you see, that's probably a good idea. That is a good idea. The truck doesn't stay with me, so it has to fit in the Mini. Um, so I probably could put it up there. That would probably work. Um, the DJSE says, yeah, I got an AA card, me, buddy. Um, I don't know how to how to say what you just said, but uh, I'm assuming that you mean a triple. We have AAA here in the U.S., uh, so that in the event I need a tow, I will be able to get that free. Um, free as in I pay yearly for that service. Classic Mini Workshop says the same thing. Do, do, do. Just scrolling through the comments here. Oh, gaffer's tape. So we don't, ha we don't really use gaffer's tape that much here in the U.S., um, but that's a good question. For electrical stuff, I use this Tessa tape. So let's go ahead and toss that in there. That'll, that'll be part of the kit too. Um, DJSC says, add some nuts and bolts to the selection. Uh, I don't know if I have enough to spare. Yeah, I don't think I have enough to spare for, for something like that. Sorry. Um, William says, always have to go one better in the States. I mean, who needs three A's? Uh, excuse me. Triple A. If it's just AA, it's just Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, Reese says... Throttle cable or spare wire had a few friends snap them on their other cars. That's a good tip. Um, the, uh, the throttle is always such a pain in the butt, and that kind of thing does break. Hmm. I don't have any extras, and I can't get any extras fast enough before we leave on this trip this evening. Um, so that'll have to be uh, on the next trip. We'll, we'll carry that. What else do you guys got for me? Clutch cable. Yeah, my clutch cable. You mean the uh, hose? Are you being fresh with me, Paul? William says, carry a spare rod change pin. Had to repair the screw on the recent club run. Um, that one should be okay. The kit that I have um, is that heavy duty clutch and it's on the, the remote shift gearbox. Um, or not remote. What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not pre-verto. There we go. Yeah, I have it on the pre-verto system. So um, it has like a small cotter pin that pops in there. Um, Alex, Wright at Alex White says, why tow the Mini there instead of drive the Mini to the campsite? So um, I will put it, I will say this. Normally, I don't have any problem driving the Mini lo longer distances. The place that we're going is actually Boone, North Carolina, which is about two and a half hours away from us. Um, but we, uh, we have a really, really large dog and my parents who live in Boone are going to be watching our dog. So um, my dog is quite literally this 100 pounds, he's big. And uh, so it's easier for us to tow this up to Boone with the dog in the back seat, us in the front, all our garbage in the back, get to my parents' house, drop the trailer off, drop the truck off, drop the dog off, then take the mini and zip around the mountains. Um, and it ends up being a little bit more casual trip too because you get out there and you start uh, having a really good time in the mini and then when you're tired of being hot as hell, you jump back in your air conditioned truck to drive yourself back home. Um, Drizzit says fuses. Yep, that's a good one. That's one I actually keep in my car all the time. Um, and a few spare gloves. I'm assuming you are talking about gloves. And I've got spares. So I'll grab a few of those. Is that enough? There we go. Okay. Got a car jack. That little aluminum one right there is the one that goes in the truck. It stays with me. In fact, that'll probably sit in the mini with us while we're driving too. Um, Paul Jeffrey says a bottle of coolant, spare oil, spare fuses. Good, good, good. I think I have some spare oil in here. I did just do an oil change and I think I might've used it all. Hmm. Yeah, 
I don't have any oil right now. There's the rod change box, or the remote box that I have not yet put together. Here's all the parts for that. We were waiting for detent springs for the gear selectors. These were holding up the whole build, finally are here, and then of course I go on vacation. Lababi says, holy water. Um, well, I don't know where I can get that. They don't sell that at my local shop. Thomas Corbin says, bulbs, light bulbs. Yeah, that one I'm kind of worried about. The trip's not long enough. Um, I do have some spares in here, but I don't think I'm going to take those. Um, the U.S. is not as strict when bulbs go out. It's kind of like, hey, man, get to the shop at some point. Four-leafed clover. That's a good one. Uh, mini source says fuel pump if mechanical. I do not have a mechanical pump. It's an electric one that sits right back here. Um, hoses, water pump. Yeah, I'm not going to replace a water pump on the side of the road. AAA is going to come and pick up my car before I do that. Bypass hose is brand new. That one's silicon, so I should be good on that one, but I could bring some extra hose. Um, William says, I take it you're running electronic ignition. Yeah, so right now I have the 123 distributor, but it's not in right now because uh, I accidentally damaged the cap a little bit. And so I have just a basic distributor in there right now with the electric ignition, of course. So um, shouldn't be too bad. David Smith says, where are you headed? Um, I am going up to Boone, North Carolina, about two and a half hours away from here. Um, and then we'll be spending the next four or so days um, Paul Jeffrey says, do you have any spare exhaust mountings just in case? I probably do, actually. I don't know why I keep all this stuff. Nope, that's dry shaft. Various mini parts, and of course there's literally no mini parts in there. Um, nope. No, nope. Okay, all right. There's some bolts. Exhaust. It says exhaust on it. Why didn't I just read that? Yeah, I might bring an extra one of these just in case. Capo Caparetta Carpetta says, uh, a quick prayer before you start the trip. Um, Reese says, will you be filming the trip when driving the Mini? I always carry a small can of WD-40 as well. Um, I, uh, I might be filming. I haven't decided. It's kind of like, I really want to just take a trip and enjoy it, but at the same time, we're going to be taking it in this, so it could be pretty fun. Um, Kasparis Livin says, on trailer. Yeah, I mentioned, uh, just a little while ago, I'm assuming you just joined in. Hang on, loud car. Um, we, uh, we have a big dog, and my parents live up in Boone, which is where we're going. And he, they take care of my dog while we're there. So um, we tow it up like this uh, on this new trailer with the dog in the back of our truck. So in the back seat of the truck, all of our stuff back here, drop it all off, jump in the mini. They take care of the dog while we're off having a, having a good time. Um, Chris Padfield, uh, let's see here. Whoops, missed a few. Um, cable ties, good one. I've got some in there I'll grab. Uh, Minnesota says spare set of wheel bearings. Um, normally on a longer trip, I would probably take that. I don't think I will on this one because we're not going to be putting that many miles on the car. Um, and the bearings are basically brand new. Chris Padfield says, what width are the wheels? They're 10 by fives. Minnesota says, please film when using the mini. Um, I might on this trip. We will see. Uh, electrical tester, Paul Jeffrey says, that's a good one, got that. Um, Omar says, what size is the engine? It's a 1293, um, it's out of an Austin America, and uh, it's rod change gearbox, pre-verto clutch, but yeah, 1293 with a ported and, uh, and big valve head, um, an HS6 carburetor, and, um, and a nice Evo 001 cam in it. Go ahead and put those zip ties in there before I forget that. You guys get to see my zip tie drawer. 
I'm kind of running low actually. And these are all like, wrong kind. Here we go. Uh, Kappa says, how long will it take you to reach your destination? Um, with, the to with towing and everything, it usually takes me about two and a half hours to get to the mountains from here, um, which is nice. We've got really, really nice mountains real close here. Um, but uh, yeah, about two and a half hours. Ordinarily, I mentioned before that I would drive the Mini that distance. It's really not that bad. Um, I do drive the Mini every day for work, but uh, I, um, yeah all that stuff with the dog dropping off, et cetera, et cetera. William says, does your wife drive your Mini? She will drive the Mini in a pinch, but she doesn't really like driving it. But I think it's mostly because she's not um, super confident in it yet. And I don't blame her because the car is, is not super confidence uh, inducing. Paul says, make sure your spare tire is all good. Check this out, Mr. Paul. That's right, brand new, full-size spare, kaboom. Just got that mounted. What are the questions you guys got for me here? I'm gonna have to go start packing here pretty soon. I figure this probably be a little quick, uh, quick live stream. Or any other suggestions you'd like to share with me uh, on what I should put in the car to bring with me. What's a giveaway plug, Mr. Mr. William Murphy? Never heard of that. Reese says, enjoy your trip, Cole. Have a great time. It's a buy from me. Thanks so much, Reese. Thanks for joining. Thomas says, don't forget the beer. That's always important. I, uh, I, I think I prefer the bourbon right now. I'm on this like bourbon kick. I just keep having old fashions. They're so good. Oh, well, going on um, between all the YouTubers, all the mini YouTubers, we talk to each other pretty regularly. Um, it's a giveaway for 600 United States dollary dues. Um, that is uh, roughly 473 pounds um, and probably similar in euros. That is going on right now. I have another video with that link in it. So if you guys want to enter in to win that, there's no purchase necessary. All you got to do, go visit that. There's, it'll list out all the entryways that you can enter in and get this uh, chance to win a $600 gift card. Oh, and it is to P&L Minis over in Yorkshire. So, yeah. What else we got here? Max says, will you put a list of all the tools needed when you own a Mini? Um, I have done a kind of, I've done a video on that before, uh, kind of about my everyday carry tools. Um, it's hard to say every tool you need for a mini. Um, I would say at minimum a set of standard uh, or imperial uh, sockets um, for your socket set. Um, so ugh, made a mess. So standard um, half inch, nine sixteenths, seven sixteenths. Those are the, the three sizes that are used on almost all the bolts in the mini. Granted, there's lots of other different ones on there, but that will get you really far. Um, Needle nose pliers, adjustable wrench, um, flathead, screwdrivers, things like that, good to have. Um, there's also, wrong drawer, ball joint splitter. That one's a really good one to have. A test light. I'm trying to think what else is in here. I mean, there's lots of other tools in this kit here. But I, not a lot that I would say that you have to have. Good set of wrenches, also in the imperial sizes. Screwdrivers. Mm. Yeah. This is my favorite drawer, personally. When owning a mini, it is the gasket drawer because I always need replacement gaskets. You can see I keep valve cover gaskets, a lot of them. Um, filters, full gasket kits for engines. Um, keeping them in stock is one of the best things that you could do because you will need them a lot. See if there's anything else in here that I'd recommend keeping in stock. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe a thermostat, that's a good one. God, this is such a mess. I never show you guys this stuff because it's always so messy. You're just gonna have to trust that, that it's not that, that bad. But yeah, I think that's probably it. I think I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna continue packing this stuff up. But uh, I hope you guys liked this. I hope you, uh, this ad hoc here thing here to help kind of outline what you might need. Post in the comment section if you have other stuff that you, uh, that you would suggest that I need, or um, if you have any questions about what I covered in this. So I will catch you guys on the next one. See y'all later.